Unit six is called advanced derivatives, and you might be thinking, well, we've already been doing pretty advanced ones. Yes, but these are having uh, different functions like e, uh, remember e is really a number, it's 2.7 something, so it's irrational like pi. We have um, exponential functions, we're gonna have natural logs and logs. Those are what we mean by advanced, they're just different. And so really it starts out pretty simple because what's nice about when you take the derivative of e, so saying e to a power, the derivative of that is actually itself. And so I wrote a little note here, still remember that you have to use the chain rule. So if I were to find the derivative of this function, y prime, I'm going to have the derivative of e being itself, so I would just write it again, but then I have to apply the chain rule with the exponent. So that would be negative 10 x to the fourth. So you can put it in like that, or you could bring that to negative 10 x to the fourth in front times e to the negative 2 x to the fifth. Either way. Okay, it's that simple. Number two, another one with e. So to find the derivative, derivative of e is itself, so I'd write it again. Use chain rule, take the derivative of the power, that would be 12x squared uh, minus 12x. I should probably put that in parentheses though so it knows it goes together and I would just leave it like that. All right, and then number three, what if you take the derivative of an exponential function where the base is not e? Um, almost the same. So let's say we have um, our base is two, or in this problem our base is nine to a power. It's actually itself, but times the natural log of a. And actually that was the same rule here, but it's times the natural log of our base, which is e. And I don't know if you remember this, but natural logs are really log base e. So it's saying e to what power makes e? That's one. So that's why it's not even necessary to write because it's just times a one. But anyway, so if I were to take derivative of this, I would write it again, 9 to the x squared minus 9x power, and then times natural log of the base, which is 9, but still don't forget to do the chain rule, which is times 2x minus 9. Okay, and number 4, if you want to pause it and try it, you can. y prime equals itself, 5 to the negative 6x to the 6 minus 9x to the 5th power times natural log the base of 5 times the derivative of the exponent, which is negative 36x to the 5th minus 45x to the 4th. And that's it.